Good evening, first alert meteorologist CJ Cartledge here. We had another hot day today here in Shreveport. We reached the century mark, which was our highest for today, was 100 degrees, and as well as other areas around the Arklatex as well. But taking a look at our Doppler radar, we had some showers here in East Texas that are meandering throughout the northern portions of the region along the I-30 corridor and impacting areas near Texarkana and New Boston as of right now. The main threats of these storms look to be quarter-size hail, which is about pea-size hail, associated with these storms and maximum winds of up to 40 miles per hour so if you are in areas near New Boston the, the storm has just passed New Boston and Marietta but it's heading in in the direction of Texarkana and towards the counties in Arkansas as of right now so if you're in those areas please um, stay keep an eye out for the skies and because some storms are heading your way as you can see right here it, the storms are pretty much near Ashdown and the Queen as of right now maybe receiving some rain showers but Nashville and hope you guys are in the way of these storms Take a look at tomorrow. We're looking at low to mid uh, 90s here as we see, or see maybe a cool off here in the Architects. Maybe a few degrees cooling off. 92 in Nacogdoches. 93 in St. Augustine. 92 in Manny. 93 is matching in DeQueen, Hope, and Ida Bell for tomorrow. A monkey meter tells us though we will remain in oppressive conditions for six out of these next seven days here before we finally get a cool off or feel, a better feeling conditions here in the Architects. Our feels like temperatures tomorrow will reflect this humidity as we as you can see we will be possibly um, above the triple digit mark in some areas um, in terms of feels like temperatures 102 expected in Shreveport 100 in Texarkana 98 in Dequane and hope for tomorrow 97 for Idabel 102 expected for feels like temperatures in Natchitoches for tomorrow but our heat indexes for the next three days we like to see um, just below the heat advisory range for Monday as it will be the greatest chance for rain within the next couple of days here and after Monday we could probably see heat advisories and excessive heat warnings back into the area as you can see Tuesday and Wednesday above this 105 criteria here in Shreveport and other areas look to be as hot as well Taking a look at future track for the rest of the night, we look to be pretty much calm and quiet. Other um, after these storms begin to move out for the northern portions of the region, and we look to see this counterclockwise motion still in the area, but it does not look to pose any sorts of threats towards rain or th uh, thunderstorms here for the night. But by the afternoon hours on Monday for your Labor Day, we look to be in um, more. We look to see more scattered showers uh, for the Arklatex region, mainly south of I-20 looks to move north and eastward throughout the Arklatex for tomorrow but by 10 o'clock by 8 o'clock actually most of these storms will be out of the area and most of these rain showers will be out as well by Tuesday afternoon everything will be calm and quiet but maybe a few showers or two are possible Tuesday afternoon but after that conditions remain calm and quiet throughout the days here um, taking a look at your tropics, your tropical weather update, your tropical storm GERT continues to move northward as is losing organization as well as a tropical storm Katia does not look to impact any land surfaces anytime soon and looks to dissipate as it continues to move in a circle making 360s out there in the Atlantic and but tropical wave invest 95L looks to be dis um increasing in strength as it as it looks to gain some sort of organization and counterclockwise motion here in the Atlantic currently is at sustained winds of 35 miles per hour but that tropical storm level is 40 miles an hour so we can possibly see that increase to a tropical storm any sometime soon here it has a 90 percent chance of forming into a tropical storm within the next seven days here and if it does form into a tropical storm the next name that it will receive is Lee but taking a look at your first alert seven day forecast the last bit of rain chances here for Monday and Tuesday sorry to tell you guys but it will be raining on on your Labor Day depending on where you are most likely in the southern portions or south of the I-20 corridor may receive some rain and if you are east in the East Arklatex region near Minden, Homer and Ruston you guys may receive some rain as well um, taking a look at throughout the week we look to be calm and dry maybe some more isolated scattered showers for Tuesday and conditions dry out by Wednesday Thursday and Friday with possible rain chances ramped, ramping back up here by Saturday so please continue to stay safe and have a good Labor Day